Robots Radio presents Fresh Tomatoes, the movie podcast. I'm not usually a hat fan, but wow. Maybe like the and Dagger. I'm really sipping on that dumb bitch juice today. And, um... <laughs> yeah, I am. But you know what? Someday I just might grow out of that. But you, you will never stop being a jerk. All chocolate cakes are good. You're a fascist. It's hideous. It's horrible. It's home. Angry white boy. Let's go. Hello, and welcome to Fresh Tomatoes, the movie podcast, the Christmas gift that merely makes you think that it's the thought that counts. That's Simone LaRue. <laughs> That's Chad Echowitz. What a beautiful introduction, Chad. You, you know, there's always that one pretty Christmas present under the tree that you're just like, yeah, it's about the thought more than the actual piece of shit gift. So nice that they got something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And talking about getting so something. So nice we've that got... they got something. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Pieces david all back on nice them. but you really want to leave under the tree <laughs> <laughs> Chad, yeah. no i david. mean i was trying to find a good segue into it at, like using the words and i was like yeah i could probably fit in like squeeze in the the getting something but it was mm. fine <laughs> you know you know like we, we always love to give you the royal fanfare but you know you're basically one of the one of us now mm. so you get, you get you know treated like one of us. a light roasting yeah, yeah, that's that's absolutely fine. I mean, I, I like roast myself, especially around this time of year. Anyway, <laughs> what kind of roast are we talking? Like a pork roast, chicken? Oh, oh, anything really? I mean, uh, I, are I you guys like, like prepper, g- like gammony people? I don't know. That that has a totally different meaning in this country. A gammon? Just warning you. Yes. Does it? A gammon? A gammony person is. Oh. Tends to be... Yes. You, have you got it? No. Okay. So a I've, I've never heard is... of this. Have you not? No, uh, right. No. Okay, so it's it's generally. Um, I mean, this is. I, I'm working off. Uh, anyway, so it's generally a white <laughs> person that goes very red because they're very angry because they're conservatives. Right. Brilliant. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So if you're a gammony person, that's that's not. Oh, usually then you don't want to. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I did not mean to imply. Okay. It, I it's just quite all right. Don't worry. It's it's. it's I mean, cultural well, communication. Let me let me ask if you are a since... gammon stan, maybe. Is that nice. well, what I was the youth just gonna would say? We, I, I was just going to say, since we, we're already talking about it, let's ask David his voting preferences. Who did you vote for in the last election? And did you vote for Brexit? <laughs> and if so, I, I answer why? All such questions. <laughs> I answer all such questions with, well, what do you think? <laughs> uh, but honestly, like, so you are you are from the north of England, so I can imagine I it would be Yorkshire's, it would be... If it's Christmas, we're, t- we're probably talking a turkey then. I, I've not had a turkey for Christmas for years. Wow. Uh, my sister doesn't like turkey. So whenever we, I mean, we had, a, had it as a child, we, we didn't have turkey. So we, we got into the, the habit of having a nice proper pork roast. Nice. Um, you know, get, get some garlic into the into the skin to mm. infuse oh, that. Yeah, and yeah. That yeah. Stuff, uh, or a nice bit of beef or indeed a nice, you know, anything really nice but i do i must say that i do like a good pork roast lovely fair enough fair enough i like a good yorkshire yeah. pudding do you do uh, sorry i know yeah. like i just read about this the other day do you do the thing where you put a <laughs> slice of cheese on your christmas cake i'm sorry oh, yeah. what's this now you, you've it's, never put cheese on your christmas cake it's a yorkshire no. thing i i've read <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that, so there, it's, I think it's possibly a North of England kind of thing, but okay. there, there's definitely um, there's definitely a thing of having fruit cake with um, a nice sharp, like salty, tangy cheese. I can see I mean, that. That makes it's, sense. Like the yeah. flavor profiles work really well. Exactly, exactly. And so, and and I know that there is a particular cake. I think they're Wilfred cakes because I'm mm-hmm. living in Ripon. It's it was founded by St Wilfred, so we have a lot of Wilfred related stuff. Um, mm-hmm. And these there are these things called Wilfer cakes, which have apple and cheese. Lovely. Um, That's awesome. It. And, it, and it, it it really does work because you know you got that mixture of yeah. uh, salty mm-hmm. and sweet and tasty and you know carbs and pastry and all that kind of stuff. So oh. yeah, what Christmas is about really, to be exactly. honest. Sweet, salty, yeah. carbs, pastry. I mean, yeah. exactly. Uh, <laughs> and alcohol as well. <laughs> In that order, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well. 
Today, as you can probably tell, dear listeners, we are doing Christmas movies. It is <sighs> the season, finally. I'm Jingle so happy. all the way. I'm so I am so happy. excited about this. <laughs> and as a promise we made to David, we said that, you know, he did mention that no sleep podcasters are not just for Halloween, they are for all year round. And we are nothing if not heeding that advice and really taking advantage of David being our friend for the next, hopefully, you know, couple of weeks before he realizes he's way too good for us. Oh, Chad, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> you say that two now, weeks, David. Two weeks max. It yeah, is yeah. You're like... <laughs> pleasure. It is an absolute pleasure to be here. You say that, but so, you watch the same movies that we do, and it's like, <laughs> yes, pleasure is yes. not the word. I also, okay. I love no. that you tweeted about this. You were like, oh, I'm doing some research for the Fresh Tomatoes yep. podcast. I love that you mm -hmm. called it research instead of sitting on the couch <laughs> watching trash. I've still got the notes. <laughs> so much better than us we don't deserve it. i love it we do not deserve this is this well, is our christmas present I, I i just figured that for for what you're paying me i i, I <laughs> could just put the work in and get the notes <laughs> Oh damn! I mean, yeah. What we're paying are we, what, what, yeah, what, what, are we going to get a uh, massive invoice sum? from David for like every minute oh my God. on this podcast? Yeah, it's it's a yearly invoice, and we're fucked. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's okay. A crate of wine should do. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, job. you're you're you're. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Simone will deliver it to me. I'll drive it up to New Yorkshire. It'll be the cheapest bottle of wine that we can, you know, send you away. <laughs> Perfect. So this week for our opening of Christmas, Simone chose some real doozies. They are absolutely fantastic. So we will be doing Castle for Christmas and Christmas with a view. And oh boy, are these exciting movies. I am so happy that it's this time of the year. Each movie <laughs> was best. exactly what I wanted it to be. Yeah, it was exactly this is a highly expected curated. it to be as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so as always, we we will let David uh, decide who gets to go first. But before we do, what is everyone drinking today, David? Well, I, I thought, you know, based on Christmas with a castle, I've gone with um, whiskey, <laughs> large, and leave the bottle, which is actually a line. <laughs> nice. I think a that's a Christmas. perfect choice. Yes, so I, that's, I thought that's as I'm themed. geographically and probably like family closest to scotland yeah that's true um, that's true thought, yeah I'll, so I'll we'll be using you as our cultural guide beautiful then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you, you <laughs> talk to us about dun dun bar <laughs> yes I, I did actually have to look it up and, and there's so many people have, that have googled it and said you know is dun dun bar a, a real place it is like, yeah it we is. It is. It's the castle is not that castle. The castle in the movie is a different castle because the castle at Don Dunbar is actually completely dilapidated. But, ah, well, I think yeah, I've been yeah. to the Dunbar one when I was a kid. Oh yeah, yeah. I oh, traveled lovely. around Scotland very briefly with my parents when I was like a, te mm. a, a cool teenager. I had like dark brown hair. <laughs> the pictures are very dramatic. Um, Fantastic. It's a beautiful country. Mm. Oh, lovely. Lovely, yeah. I had a lot yeah. of sticky toffee pudding. I know that isn't like the national oh. dish, but I had that a lot. <laughs> I love sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Do you like it with ice cream or custard though? Like that's custard. a debate in itself. It's custard. custard. It's got to be custard. I, it, so the, my, the closest analog we have here to it is malfa pudding. Mm -hmm. Chad, which you know, it's like a vinegar pudding. David, I don't know. I don't know how it's, to describe it. It's basically it. sticky toffee pudding. It's, it's basically it's... sticky toffee pudding, but better. Um... <laughs> It is. I'm sorry, David. It is. You, you, you can't put but, vinegar in something and make it better. I'm sorry. That's it's great. got vinegar and apricot jam. It just kind of works together. It, it works. To be perfect. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Yeah. Listen, when you come down for our respective weddings, David, you'll, you'll, okay. yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll make Look, you some. It's, it, it's why it, it's what makes South Africa great. It's all the parts shouldn't work together, and yet they somehow do, and it just fits so wonderfully. <laughs> it's really oh. a metaphor. Oh. 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 <laughs> just like break out into the whole fucking. <laughs> listen to, watch David uncomfortably listen to us sing the national anthem <laughs> poorly. <laughs> Yeah, How's your mumble closet, through. Chad? Not good. Oh, it's it's definitely not good. Definitely <laughs> not good. Um, anyway, um, so what are you drinking? Speaking, speaking oh, of, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I tend to have multiple pudding with just whipped cream, um, or like a heavy pouring cream, and I would imagine very similar for sticky toffee pudding. That's very interesting. I'm not a huge sweet never... tooth, so I don't want anything mm. making it even sweeter than it already is. Okay, fair enough. That's, that's fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah, I like, um, yeah, uh, that's, okay. I'm, I'm going to try okay. it Okay, I was expecting it to be lambasted, lambasted, but. No, we're, we're not Gammony. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, we don't have a beef with you. Oh, damn. Oh, he just, you know what? I'm going to leave. I, I'm going to leave. I, this is I done. Or, or I would. But I'm, I'm, just, I'm so I'm happy. Just a bit chicken. Oh. I mean, if you want I'm to duck cry. out, but. Oh, my God, stop. I'm going to cry. It's too good. Simone, what have we done? What have we done? It's just. Why? Why do we keep so bringing David better. on? Yeah, when he keeps showing us up on our own podcast, Chad. Hello, everyone, understand. and welcome to the Fresh Tomatoes <laughs> movie podcast. I'm your host, David Elt, and joining me are, 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 are two special guests. Um, this is Simone LaRue, and this is Chad Echowitz. Thank you so Hi. much for having I'm us, so David. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, pleasure. Absolutely great. I, I, just, I figured as it was this time of year, it's the, it's the time of giving. The, the, the charitable spirit. To, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really hoping you know like this is this this is so weird but i'm really really hoping that someone has fallen asleep between our <laughs> intro and this intro and they've just woken up now and been like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Simone, what are uh, you drinking sorry. yes i'm having a rosé um Lovely. this one i liked the name of it it's called the rose garden um oh, nice. yeah it's lovely it's a i mean it's remember i'm going into summer so this is like a full of summer course. beverage it's everything that you want in a tepid girl spring for my tepid girl spring <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> well last night i went out on what the uh, brits call a lash oh. um, and so i am feeling quite hungover today so i've just resorted back to friendly old water and mm. just enjoying the soothing Ooh. effect it's having what on my was body. your uh, hangover breakfast though like at least tell us that chad a Did pizza I, just, ah, I had nice. a, a full-on spinach and ricotta pizza. Nice. And uh, then uh, Tesco's one-pound cheese balls, um, <laughs> <laughs> and a and a and a and an iced coffee from Costa. Nice. It, it just had to be done. Yep. Yeah. Nice. I love that for you. <laughs> That's brilliant. It was. It's. It's my. Um. It's my uh, cold. Cold water winter. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> my, my winter of discontent. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll we'll have that, but uh, <laughs> let's wait for a couple of weeks until this comes out, and then we can just compare to these halcyon days of. <laughs> there you go. There you um, go. Chad, well, what are you drinking? Oh, you said sorry. You just told us you're having a water. I just I, my brain didn't. Accept it's so it. It, exactly. It's so forgettable and and just outrageous <laughs> that you just wanted to get rid of it. So, David, tell us what film do you want us to do first? Well, um, it's it's a big choice. Mm. Uh, it is. It, it really is. is. Because, like, Castle for Christmas is the one I saw second. It's um, mm -hmm. slightly more polished than Christmas mm. with a View, but Christmas mm -hmm. with a View had so much more to talk about. <laughs> yes, um, it did. <laughs> um, so I think out of the two, mm, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Castle for Christmas first. Nice. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it out of the way. Bad. And then we can move on <laughs> to the main event. Right. Okay. So here we go. A castle for Christmas. So you've got Sophie Brooke, who uh, Sophie played by Brooke Shields, who is this wonderful writer. She's written a series of books called the Emma, Gale, Emma Gale Chronicles, in which it's a sort of a uh, lovely, slightly older lady who finds her journey through love and she meets this guy, Winston. Now, the issue is that in her final last book of the Emma Gale series, she killed off Winston and now everyone is furious at her. Like mm -hmm. every single human being who has written uh, read these books is absolutely outraged by the, her choice to kill the main protagonist, mm -hmm. the character. Even Drew Barrymore, who plays herself in this movie, great cameo Furious. uh cannot cannot stand cannot stand sophie mm. Mm. so sophie decides that for this christmas she's going to go back to scotland i say back because her family were the mcginties who lived up in dunbar which is near edinburgh in scotland uh her oh, father yeah. used to tell her <laughs> yeah it, it's, it's sorry sorry yes. edinburgh for americans to be yes, fair yes yeah yes. yeah in which case um, you should say edinburgh yeah, Edim Ed well, how or how Edinburgh? it's Edinburgh. I think you mean <laughs> Ed Edinburgh. <laughs> with a, with a Sorry, I'm 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 diving into the the summary, and I shouldn't. 
uh so she's decided to go back to scotland she's gonna write her next emma emma gale book up in scotland where it's peace and quiet and away from all these fans who are just so angry at her she'll just get that peace and quiet because no one up in the you know the scottish highlands will know who she is uh at the same time her ex is uh her ex her husband is now getting remarried and her daughter has decided to go to the wedding which i mean to be fair sophie is absolutely fine with um yeah yeah you know, she's really cool about Christmas it actually she's very very chill about it so uh, she goes up to Scotland and up to Dunbar and she sees this really quaint village. Everyone's like super nice. You've got like a cast and crew who are, uh, the important ones are Maisie played by Andy Orshaw and Rona played by, I'm going to butch this, but Ellie, Ellie Lohan. Okay, now it is spelt in sort of the Irish way. So I, like I'm going to go with Ellie, but there is a D in there. Uh, so just be prepared. <laughs> What a language. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> what a language. Um, <laughs> so she she meets these people. They actually recognize her, but they actually love her books, and they all hated Winston, the character, anyway. So they're like, yeah, good on they you for it. killing him. And it's great. They they mm -hmm. absolutely get it. She then goes uh, and finds out, like, her, her father used to work at the castle there, Dun Dunbar, uh, as sort of the caretaker groundsman. So she goes off to the castle, and that's where she meets Miles, played by Kerry Elwes. Elwes. How do you, is that how you say it? What's how, how it's Elvis, it? right? I Elvis. don't know if there's a fancy is, is way to Elvis. say it. I just always say Elvis. Stephen. <laughs> just <laughs> in that. Uh, yeah, so, so he meets mm -hmm. Smith. So mm -hmm. uh, she meets uh, Miles down at the castle, and he just looks like he's the groundskeeper. He's wearing sort of overalls, and he's cleaning up the, um, the, 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 the whole uh, outsidey bit and everything, and everything's fine. So she comes through. She wants to see the castles, but unfortunately, there's no tour going on. So that's when miles decides to show around it's very cute uh they have like a little bit of banter they kind of don't like each other in the beginning they're kind of you know rah, rah, rah. uh that's when she asks who owns the castle now and he's like oh some royal ass and they have a little bit of a giggle uh she goes and walks into a forbidden part of the castle because that's where her father had engraved his name in one of the doors uh and she wanted to like feel that presence again from him obviously miles is furious kicks her off the property they fight even more that's when she finds out that miles is in fact the duke of dum dumba and he is the royal ass who what? owns the castle what? not a soul no one saw that coming not a single person no, not the most famous person surprised. in this whole movie <laughs> <laughs> not a chance not a chance definitely well, not. drew barrymore was the lord all along <laughs> <laughs> Duke, please oh. just be respectful sorry, of the sorry. titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry, come on. Yeah. Uh, so uh, they basically, lots of shenanigans ensue, uh, but eventually it's decided that Sophie wants to buy the castle. Turns out that Dun Dunbar is actually in a lot of financial trouble and Miles is going to have to sell the castle. And uh, so Sophie decides to buy it with all of her book money, apparently. And so uh, Miles is like, uh, fuck you, I'm going to drive you out in the next 90 days of escrow, which also just want to let everyone know, just, you know, for the legal eagles out there, you don't get escrow in this country. It's not a thing. Yeah, I was um, very confused. I was like, I think that's a very specifically American <laughs> thing. It's cool. a very specifically American mm -hmm. thing, yeah. But apparently there's an escrow on this for 90 days and Miles is going to try and drive Sophie out. As you can imagine, they fall in love love all of his attempts to drive her out actually bring them closer together and it's just wonderful everyone's getting along she's sort of you know made herself a fixture of the village everyone loves her because she's able to cut hair uh, and knit and that apparently makes you scottish <laughs> enough to stay uh then <laughs> sorry my girlfriend laughed at that joke and it just completely threw me because i'm not funny um, <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, uh, basically then, uh, they get together, they like realize that they're meant to be together and they're like having a really jaunty time. That's when Sophie's like, Hey, once I've bought the castle, you can come and live with me in your castle. Obviously Miles just flips out at this, like completely just irrational fucks off. And he's just like, no, it's over. We're done. And so Sophie's like, okay, I don't want the castle anymore. I'm going to give up now. Uh, they have a fight. Then they realize, you know, actually you know, they were being a bit silly. They get back together. They hold through this massive party at the castle for everyone uh, for Christmas, one could say. Uh, everyone could come to the castle for Christmas. And uh, they all have a lovely time. And she looks great dancing in her dress at the end. And they kiss. And that's the end. And and, uh, and her daughter comes over as yes, well. Yes, and her daughter. Oh, yes. Christmas. 
Yeah. Yes, and it does. Daughter comes in surprise over Christmas, and it's really lovely. Also, she writes a book about a Scottish uh, warrior princess, and Drew Barrymore loves it. And that's the important message. For Christmas, that's the important. That Drew Barrymore yes. loves. If Drew Barrymore is happy, then we're all happy. Yes. In yes. the truth. The end. <laughs> the end, Chad. What is your cliffhanger? I mean, it has to be this one, and it's the fight scene, because it was just so out of nowhere. Like, I know that yeah. Christmas movies have to have a conflict, but good lord. Yeah, it was very forced. Mm. Yeah, very upsetting. Yeah. In an almost flawless Christmas movie, this, oh. was, this was my big... Is this <laughs> not the most middle-aged woman fantasy you have ever seen in your life? <laughs> she goes to a cute yes. little town. She stays in an adorable Airbnb, or b and not an Airbnb. It's she a meets problem. a knitting circle that she is immediately friends with everyone. <laughs> she meets a handsome duke <laughs> who falls in love with her. Yep. She moves into the castle. Her daughter comes to visit, and her daughter loves her and clearly takes her side in the divorce. Um, <laughs> and then she's super successful again. Like, tick, tick, tick. I, too, want to join yep. a sassy Scottish knitting circle. It'll be perfect. It'll be so, so wonderful, right? I mean, what a way to live. And then there's just this man who's always silent and kind of gruff, but also oh, knits. what's and then his he, name? Like, does August? A jig. Um, Angus. Uh, Angus. Angus. Yeah. Angus. Yeah. He's wonderful. He was so cute. In I this. cried. And I mean, that's, I cried. that's the joy of this movie, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's the fact that we, that like, you know, everyone in this movie is super duper cute. So nice. And there's a dog named Hamish. Like, are you even doing a movie in Scotland when there's a dog mm -hmm. named Hamish? He, he was, was, one, was of, one of the very, very best things about this film. The, mm -hmm. the Ang Hamish was just yeah wonderful just took me back to so many kids programs where there was you know the dog that had been trained and i'm sure that back in the the early 90s there was one dog that went around all of the children's tv programs that there were mm -hmm. at the time yeah so, yeah 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 definitely yeah i think you're 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 dead on there um yeah. i love that her dress has like a kilt like kilt tartan design awesome. yes woven sort of into like it mixed in with it even though so you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure like each of like the major families in Scotland has their own like kilt or like tartan and ta tartans. pattern. Yeah. I'm yes. not convinced that the classic red tartan that we see there is the Dunbar one. I mean, probably not. Because like that's the yeah, most you know. basic tartan. Like anytime you're buying a tartan skirt, like that's what it looks like. It's it's more David, correct me if I'm wrong, but most most tartans are actually green. Yeah, yeah it's like green and blue yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 I, so I, I think so I, I didn't do the full research on that part <sighs> well then why the fuck oh, are you no, here I'm, i mean because i've still got a whole load of notes <laughs> <laughs> you, Chad. I, 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 I have the documents i have in my hand a piece of paper mm. <laughs> well i think since you mentioned it this is yeah. a really good time Please tell us to what's on do your... <laughs> our favorite new segment which is david's david's lines corner david's we'll, we'll think of a name notes. <laughs> yeah, David's yes. copious notes. <laughs> um, I, I have to say that um, anyone who wants to go on the Drew Barrymore show now knows <laughs> that the Wi-Fi <laughs> password is guest welcome. Because it's <laughs> on the wall. So that's the guest welcome <laughs> the Drew Barrymore show, so just so you know. I, I did no, like no. at the beginning where you had the Scottish subtitles. Um, that's just to yes, keep that was so funny. Americans in and just mm. get yes. everyone ready. Uh, for that and I, and I have to say that it, it was such a nice um, sort of UK US thing where they said oh why didn't you kill that that idiot off in volume one why did you leave it for 12 books to kill <laughs> I him love off? it and I just thought, yeah. yeah after all the roasting that she's got at home um, mm -hmm. then this the staircase built clockwise for defense is a myth oh is it because it is because okay. if, you, if you've already yeah. got attackers storming the castle, then you're all oh, you've lost. completely fucked. Yeah, that's yeah. Got to that you make point. a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Like the last thing that's you're going to worry true. about is how hard is it for them to get up the final spiral staircase. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> if it if it was only anti clockwise, we could actually take Dun Dunbar, <laughs> but because it's clockwise, we're screwed. <laughs> Yeah, we might as well exactly. just go home. <laughs> and, th and there's lots of medieval castles which have anti-clockwise staircases, but it's just, I I'm, I'm pretty sure that I heard that it was, uh, a, it's basically a story that got made up that has then essentially gone viral. And so it just keeps on going. Okay. So, yeah. so, that's good to know. When I was in, 
when I was in Israel and I visited the old fortresses there, they were built sort of the entrance was built with a uh, 90 degree to the left mm. so that as as soldiers were coming in, their right hands with their swords were, you know, towards the back and they, they couldn't really get around mm-hmm. it. Oh. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe that's just a huge lie that us tourists get told. Well, but, it that's could be, different. That I, sounds when I was correct. when I was in India, um, there was uh, it, the Maharanga Fort in Jodhpur has this long uh, uh, road ramp up, and then this sharp ninety degree to the right, right? Um, okay, so that elephants can't be sort of can't be charged up and then and then smash oh, into it. Oh, genius! But okay, there of course, if you if it's going to the right, then yeah, the the yeah the, the sword hand is also at the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, I know unless you're a are... left-handed army, in which well, case, oh boy, you're in trouble now. <laughs> but statistically but I that, unlikely. I think it's very different though to have the that sort of the, the spiral staircase at at the entrance, mm. so mm-hmm. where people are just coming into the fort. Yeah, you you might think, okay, let's let's make sure that let's our do it, yeah yeah our right hands are are there available. Um, as opposed to in the middle of the keep on the castle, like you've got through the battlements, you've got past the river, you've got past the moat, you've got past the pack of wild dogs and the and the haggis farm. You know, you've got past <laughs> all of that. And now, <laughs> only haggis now farm. that you've that you you're in the center, now we think about trying to hold everyone mm. off. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Huh. Yeah, yeah. What else is that's, what else are one... you gonna ruin for us on this yeah, list of yours, yeah. David? T- tell us tell us tell us something else from, from your notes that's complete, you know, and that's a hogwash from this movie. Uh, Apart from I, I mean, we've already discussed the escrow thing, so <laughs> put that one to bed. Yes, curses. Um <laughs> mind you, I, I did notice so so when um that the, the cook servant guy, whatever his name was, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, but he I said tell, yeah. He said ladies first and and um but he only put the napkin over Miles's legs. He oh. didn't actually get do the napkin for her. And I was thinking, ah, uh, that's rude. That's that's very yeah. rude. Especially after you've just said, ladies. Yeah. First. Mm. Oh, mm. gotta watch your oh, etiquette. What are Disgusting. You doing? What are you doing? He's going to be the first one to go when she's uh, Lord of the <laughs> yeah. Lady of the Manor. When she's in charge. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. how. How happy he is doing a little Mm-mm. dance! No, no. Once, once it gets past New Year, he's prepared. no, he's out. He's, he's out, out on the streets. Yeah, he's totally out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one of the good things about this was they actually had people actually playing the music. Yes, like they, the, the yeah, band actually played, which is so refreshing yeah. to see because usually mm. you'll see people doing playing a pipe or something, and it's like, uh, oh, hang on, please hold. No worries. Well, it's it's fine because um actually we've only got three minutes left. That's what I was doing just oh, in case anyone yeah. thought I was like crazy by doing like ten. I, and I just five thought you were things. wanting to speak and you were just trying to say, "Can, can I speak now?" Please? No, 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 no. no. I was I was then... giving some sexy Cause, times. Cause usually, He's got a flute. You see, you see people. It's a, it's a penny whistle. Uh, usually, Sorry, when you see whistle. people doing doing the music, they they'll be just going. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, rather than actually doing. Oh. We 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 did a etc. Um, I mean, what has this podcast become? <laughs> this is why. I mean, we asked David to pass us a spoon, and he gives us a bowl of soup, and I am so happy. <laughs> what was that? I was that not expecting so to get a musical performance today. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I I wasn't expecting to bash out David Amber last time, but you know. So we just bring that this, out in you. It the, seems. Yeah, yeah. That's um, that's the good thing about having a loose and very wet structure of a podcast yeah. because just anything can know. happen. I don't know if I would describe our podcast as loose and very wet. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the uh, that is the um, uh, the comments I left when I was giving our, our podcast a, a review. I said a very loose and wet <laughs> um, podcast. So that's why we're struggling to get listeners. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can see my mistake now. I can see what I did wrong. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I loved this lead. Uh, her, her arms. Her arms. Oh, were she does Pilates for gorgeous. sure. Yeah, Brooke, Brooke Shields has the best arms in mm. the universe. I only hope question. to have arms like hers by the time I'm her age. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think that was like the one very standout mm. moment for me in the film is just how incredible her upper body was. I think I, I also love, I think that <laughs> maybe it's just me, but to me, I think the subtle implication was that she's a bad writer because whenever, <laughs> no, whenever an author kills off a character, the issue is never like, oh, you know, the character's dead. It's if it doesn't make sense in the context of the books. Okay. Like often when a beloved character gets killed off, you're like, oh, okay, this is really sad, but it actually makes sense. Like there was clearly a build up to this and this mm. character clearly had to die for X to happen or whatever. And she just didn't do that. She was just really mad at her husband after a divorce. So she like figuratively mm -hmm. pushed him down some stairs. Um, <laughs> and so... I, I just love that the implication she wasn't an incredible writer, except apparently in Scotland where they're like, you don't need a reason to kill someone. <laughs> that's very Scottish. That, that's a that's a Scottish tradition, yeah. really, isn't it, mm -hmm. David? Yeah. Oh, very much. Um, Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> but speaking about her being a bad writer, you're absolutely right. I mean, there's those scenes where she's she she types like the first sentence of the book and everything. She has not just planned a novel in any way. She's just full on <laughs> pantsing she's it. Just going, like... <laughs> yeah. And it was great because she like capitalized well and everything to to sort of like reflect her mental way yeah. of saying it and it was just great it, because the reader is just gonna be like what is happening why is well capitalized mm -hmm. i'm so confused mm -hmm. I, I did actually like the fact that she said yes the well whispered to the wind about a woman and i just thought that is shit that's, that's a said, rough that's line rubbish <laughs> <It's> yeah like, <laughs> deleted it all so uh, she, she was actually listening to the audience at the yeah. time yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true that, that's very and empathetic who among us hasn't typed a line where you're like, oh, that's garbage. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. that's terrible. Yeah. I mean, I told Chad about the pun that I wrote for my day job the other day, and I am Perfect. still mortified. It was, um, it was <laughs> find a job that feels like it was mermaid for you. I mean, at, at, at this point, should you say what your job is? I'm a copywriter for um, oh, right. okay. a right. company. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I was writing ads, mm. and uh, mm. these were supposed to be summer themed. So. Gotcha. Right, yes. Um, yeah. You proud of yourself? <laughs> I mean, I also, I'm like more proud of that than I also wrote one, like find a job that feels like it floats your boat or find a job that floats oh, your boat. And great. I didn't love that. I wasn't proud I of that. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I love this. I love this new I love being persona that David in is. Penny Whistle. Yeah. <laughs> David's David's like the guy who who's with David Letterman who's on the fucking guitar all the time. Oh yeah, on the drums. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. If this is a bit we're gonna be bringing back into the podcast more, I'm gonna need you to practice a bit more, David. Yeah, please. Oh, David. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you bring the sass. You bring. The sass. <laughs> hey, we've all got to bring something to the Christmas table. <laughs> Right, so let's talk golden nuggets then. Uh, Simone, what is your golden nugget for this beautiful film? I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> I teared up a couple times in this movie. My, I love a Christmas movie. I love a Christmas movie. I teared up when Angus, um, when he was like, you should never regret loving someone. And like the whole thing is obviously like for our listeners, Angus doesn't speak. He's devastated after mm -hmm. the loss of his wife um Husband. but he speaks up then when brooke shields is ready to give up on carrie elwes and he's like you should never regret loving someone oh husband what? it was his husband not his wife was it his husband oh sorry he's i like straight washing everything oh my goodness oh, Simone. someone's gonna get canceled <laughs> oh. i'm sorry his husband passed away um and um yeah I'm yeah so that sorry. is really beautiful i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> I'm apologizing to you, David, as the representative. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. And token gay. Okay. Of, thank the, you. of the gay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're our token penny whistler. Come on. <laughs> you're, you're better than that. But uh, as as recompense, Simone will be donating uh, ten thousand pounds to uh, the LGBT community and at large through David. So mm. Simone will just send a giant check to you, David. To so you, to you directly. Yes. I, I, I'll, you I'll can... just add it to the, to my invoice. Shall I? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we need to just work out a payment plan really quick off off air, David. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm nothing if not uh, magnanimous. Oh, thank you. Especially yeah, when I mean, I've just you... been told to practice more. <laughs> 
pay, if we're I mean, paying for the penny whistle, David. you can charge those practice hours to us as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, Simone, have you never read Art of the Deal? What are you doing? <laughs> Clearly not, Chad. <laughs> um, uh, and so I like you're, you're I actually liked, thawing. Yeah, I liked you're also Carrie up. Elwes' speech uh, to 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 Brooke Shields when when you know mm. he's standing he stood outside her window and she's come down to see him and he's like. Uh, I won't stop you from going. I'm not going to even attempt the accent. Um, I think that's best for all of us. And he's like, I won't stop you from going back to New York, but that doesn't mean I won't follow you. And I don't know, my heart just... Again, Simone, creepy line. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do the sexy, I'm not going to do the sexy voice that that you said it was sexy like the other time when it's, but it's it's an inherently creepy line. It is, yeah. It's basically saying- But he said it, like it was about the delivery. The delivery was very good. And it, it, I don't know, it it did something to my heart. If you go 5,000 miles away, (laughs) I'm going to come after you. (laughs) You can't escape. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you know. I see, I, I can hear it now. I can hear the difference between like the way I delivered it, like really sexy, and then how David delivered it, which was very sexy. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Chad. <laughs> you can get a discount. <laughs> yes. Okay. See, that's how Sorry. it's done, Simone. Yeah. I'm still I'm still problematic and I find creepy stuff <laughs> sexy. I've been in a relationship for a very long time, so who's to say? <laughs> I'm very, I'm very worried about Ru- what Rudy's doing behind closed doors, right? <laughs> like with, the- <laughs> I like him creepy. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! How about you, David? Golden nuggets? Uh, well, I, I, I did like uh, the explaining of the various words for idiot. <gasps> that was a fun. Mm, that that was, was a fun bit of dialogue. That, that, that was, that was nice really little, cute. Yeah. Um, I liked the the fact that someone said you divvy. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll go with that. But I think my my standout line was. He went to Oxford and Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. How, how many ways can we get the audience to go? Oh, he's so smart. So yeah. smart. It certainly has mm. nothing to do with class and money. No, no, no. <laughs> exactly. Well. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, that's why the whole uh, the whole village got mortgaged. It was to pay for his <laughs> tuition. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was free, uh, probably back when he was going to going there. But yeah. Oh, now we're now we now we're getting real political. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it only started being yeah. charged at such <laughs> Which way do I we think there? he voted in Brexit? Let's get into yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was he being Scottish? Did he vote Remain in the for for the referendum? Or you know, to, I mean, to, statistically, to sort of... he voted Remain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, no, statistically, his top half voted remain top <laughs> half, didn't I? I don't know because so, um, uh, Scotland was I think 62 63% remain mm. right um, but I think with in in terms of money and yeah um, places yeah he, I'm uh, he definitely voted thinking, to leave yeah I think so yes. oh no yeah. <sighs> miles so, but, but given given that this is a Netflix film he probably voted whichever way the viewers wanted him to vote. Whichever That's way Brooke true. Shields would have been happiest with. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So I think for me, my 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 uh, golden nuggets for this one was definitely the just the Scottishness of it all. You know, oh. you from the from the first moment she lands in Scotland, you've got the taxi with the tartan on the side, adorable. Mm. <laughs> then you've got like these people in cozy sweaters knitting mm. more sweaters, which is let's be honest, what Scottish people do six months of the year just to prepare for those cold cold winters. Mm. Um, and yeah, just all of it was just wonderfully wonderfully Scottish. And as David said at the beginning that line uh you know pour me a large whiskey and leave the bottle if that's mm. not the most scottish thing you know apart from can i finger you behind the bins of a greg's then <laughs> like i don't know what is <laughs> that's more of the north of england but uh you know or, or a glasgow i suppose yeah but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not i will that say either I've never yeah. seen more teenagers smoking than when I was in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you There's go. nothing else to do. <laughs> it's just so fucking cold. It's all so the time. cold. Listen, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, all right. God. So would we recommend this again to watch? Yeah, again? it's really fun, actually. It's a lovely it movie good. to watch. I think it hits all the right notes. 
Carrie oh, Elwes does done... a surprisingly good Scottish accent. I don't know why I was yes. expecting him to botch it. He's, you know, he's a thespian, so I don't, I don't know. I thought he was going to botch it. I completely agree with you. I thought he was going to absolutely wreck it, and he did very well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I still think that uh, this is one of those that if you're, if you've got to the end of Netflix on Boxing Day, and you've got nothing else to watch, and you're probably a hungover and b had a lot of the hair of the dog. Right. Um, that this is where, this is where this film comes in. Um, I get you. If, yeah. If I if I hadn't had to do it for you, then I wouldn't do it. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Interesting. I'm I'm very intrigued. I mean, we'll ask at the end of the podcast just to you know for flow reasons, obviously. Mm, mm, um, you know, uh, but we will ask you what your your sort of go to Christmas movies are and like Ooh. bad Christmas movies as well. So just keep that in your mind as we go <laughs> okay, through. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like Simone, I've got to agree with you. This movie is just delightful, and it's so lovely to just see. You know, this is middle aged you know, auntie porn, and it's just so fun Absolutely. to watch. And I mean, to be fair, as a middle aged auntie that I am, like this is this is my vibe. I I live for this. Type of shit, so all i want to do is go to scotland and find a lovely knitting circle mm -hmm. exactly sorry, Chad, and just sorry, write... Chad, Chad. can i just pause you there because um, uh -huh. last time i was on uh you you both made it very clear that i was a lot older <laughs> than you uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. which means that if you are middle-aged uh, in spirit in spirit i am <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> David, you're you're an old crone now. Um, okay, no. okay, that's fine. That's no, fine. As, long, no. as long as you're honest, I don't mind. I, I just, <laughs> no, my, was, David, was I've, very I've... clear earlier about about you know you you two will will be honest if you're breaking up with me, and and I I appreciate that, um, but uh, I just needed clarification. That's all. No, believe us, David. You are the beautiful person. You're you're the shining light that keeps this podcast together. Like you are that glue. <laughs> no pressure. Um, but no, no pressure. Yeah. But no, as we've often said, I was uh, I was born to be a middle aged suburban mom in sort of like the south uh, south yeah. of uh, of America. Sort of that's my vibe. Church on Sundays, cook a big family feast. We all sleep fall asleep in front of the the couch. I go tend to in my front cows of the couch. and the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, we don't watch TV because it's a Christian household, David. Okay. We don't have the devil. You box. would not believe the messaging <laughs> that they have on TV these days. I, I it's know. disgusting. I, I, yeah. This is why I don't watch TV. Exactly. Very exactly. good. Very good. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then I go and milk my cows and, you know, do all the middle aged suburban, you know, woman things that I really want in my heart. So, that's, that's that where too. that comes from. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so it's leaving it there. Shall we move on to a, Christmas with a view? A wonderful movie, a truly I don't see smooth your, movie. I, I don't know why you have an issue with this movie. It's exactly what it promised to be. I, I think that's fair. Yes, it is exactly what it promised to be, in that it promised very little and delivered. I think it mm -hmm. over delivered on, on it being it really did. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so Okay. <laughs> this movie stars Clara Garrison. She is a manager at a high-end resort restaurant in, what is it, Thunder Valley? Yeah, Valley. great yep. name. Thunder mm -hmm. Valley, her hometown. She had a bit of a rough patch where she went to Chicago for a bit to open a restaurant. It was successful for a little while, but then it closed down and now she's back home sort of licking her wounds, figuring out her next move, building up her confidence again. Enter Scott, Ca no, Shane, played by Scott <laughs> Cavallero. He is a hot celebrity chef just off the competition circuit. He is looking for his next thing to do. He starts working at the restaurant. <laughs> the two of them hit it off immediately with some help from her best friend, Bonnie, play played by Kristen Koenig. The two of them basically immediately make out. There's like a little bit of tension <laughs> because her boss is clearly into her too, played by Hugh, uh, Hugh Peters, played by Mark Kaname. Um, There's kind of drama, but not really. Like, she's basically helping her boss buy off this, like, close, really cute little community center and historical site run by two very good friends of hers. Um, and then there's also, I guess, kind of drama because her mom, Lydia, played by Vivica A. Fox, is, like, wildly successful and her sister went to Harvard and is also successful and she's, like, mad about it. Um, but ultimately, <laughs> it turns out that uh, Hugh Peters was just trying to buy the lodge so that he could turn it into condos. So she's like, no, I'm not going to help you. But at the same time, Shane was like, oh, 
I'm going to buy it instead. And then I'm going to use it to invest in you and your dreams so you can start a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and they fall in love. Um, I think that's everything. I, I, there's also some yeah. stuff about like his parents went on honeymoon there once and that's why he's like back here because both of his parents are dead and he reveals yeah. this tragic backstory like while they're waiting for a train to go past. It's a weird thing. Um, yeah. They fall in love and like... <laughs> I love that like Christmas movies have gotten like a very feminist angle on them because now instead of like <laughs> dropping to one knee and being like, will you marry me? I'll take care of you forever. He's like, I want to invest in your business. I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. She owes everywhere. That's yeah, exactly. Girl Hashtag boss girl boss. <laughs> yeah. So what's your cliffhanger? Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's obviously it's, it's, it's going to be this one. Um, which is when her friend Bonnie is talking to Shane and she's like, oh no, mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm taken, but my friend is definitely not. And she's, she's clearly the best character <laughs> in this because I love, I love her turning to her new fiance. It's like, I knew you weren't boring. <laughs> oh, I mean, is there a bigger Chekhov's gun than Clive? the town planner yes I, it, it's, it's, i mean that, that was one of my one of the lines that i have down here is he's the funniest most exciting city planner i've ever met <laughs> do you meet a lot of city planners in thunder valley is that a, a big it's sort actually of it's actually a hub of city planning Apparently. industry so please <laughs> because because it's such a it's such a huge place that um you know a, such a high end because you know by the mm -hmm. size of the portions yeah in the, in the restaurant mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know that they will take their bookings months in advance mm, or even mm. weeks in advance and yet um they did say oh um i don't know we we don't know how many people are going to be uh here so we've <laughs> just got to keep all of our keep our minds on everything and and just be ready and then they closed over christmas now they're closed on christmas yeah. eve and they closed yeah. Really christmas day yeah and as a resort in a winter town yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it it's, it's surprising that they're making so much money yeah. It, it's it's absolutely amazing yeah yeah can we can we also talk about the fact that like you know uh the true villain of this movie is the lead she is the She's devil such a bitch. like from start <laughs> to finish <laughs> there's that opening scene where she comes in and there's like like everyone's watching the cooking show mm -hmm. and she just comes in and she's like get the fuck back to work obviously okay. not that dramatic she doesn't but... say it like that at all but okay <laughs> i mean it was a... pretty Get the fuck back to work. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. It was okay, terrible. but also they're on shift. They should not be watching reality TV. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I worked in the industry, so I can't say that. Um. <laughs> um, and then she's like super pissed that her sister is like doing so much better yes, than her. Yes, she's so like... mad about her sister being successful and happy. Oh, it's outrageous. And she's just like, you know, stubs her mum over everything. Her like her mum is also crazy, so crazy nice. successful in the uh, in the and my favorite part of this as well, in the bespoke gingerbread high-end industry, which also her chef boyfriend says he's got contacts in them. Of course he does. There are of two does, of them yeah. in the whole world. <laughs> there are only two of them. Listen, so of Chad, this is a Christmas movie. In this universe, bespoke gingerbread is a massive <laughs> industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> true, not so true. big an industry that they don't know what bookings they're going to have a couple of weeks in advance. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, um, there, there's there's some wonderful food shade because yeah, there, there's her mom uh, always saying, oh, it wasn't a cover, but it was a two page spread. But no, never mind about that, everyone. Even though you're doing shit just because you, you know, your your Chicago restaurant didn't work. Yeah. Um. So I think actually she's she's got some, yeah, she does actually have reason to be pissed off with her mother and with her family okay. because it's all let's rub our, our success in your face and will you be bringing yeah. someone next christmas oh hmm? yeah no her mom is oh yeah a... that was rough yeah. that was rough <laughs> but, but I, I did like some of the food shade like uh did you hear he microwaved his steak that i mean great. but truly though <laughs> <laughs> who I mean, yeah. You know, that's coming from a, a nation that microwaves hot water for tea. <clears throat> oh. I mean, oh. Do you know, not, that's actually how I rehash. explained to an American why um, microwaving your water for tea is so offensive. Like, he was like, mm. I don't get it. It makes it hot. <laughs> I was like, 
but you wouldn't microwave a steak, would you? <laughs> mm. oh, that's good. That's good. That's, that's, that's the you know those um anti um, <laughs> you wouldn't microwave a steak. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't <laughs> microwave a steak. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's like that is baffling in itself because he's like, oh, he microwaves the steaks, and it's like this dude was in the finals with you. Yeah, you know? of a cooking like how show. bad is this cooking competition? Outrageous. Mm, I, I had to say that that right away from the start, it's that there was a little bit of foreshadowing with the whole. And he's the most eligible bachelor. <laughs> oh, they really <laughs> hammer yes. that home. They, they, mm, mm, oh, they really. In a so very a creepy way yeah. for a competition show. Like yes, literally yeah. every second line about him is like, and ladies, he's single. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's what's really wonderful about this movie and like i texted simone and i said this was written by an ai because it really didn't understand basic concepts you know it was like you know comp uh, food competitions and cooking competitions very rarely have personas it's not like sort of survivor or the apprentice mm -hmm. where like this one's the bitchy one this one's the super helpful yeah. one like cooking shows they're all chefs that's mm -hmm. their art they don't, don't have characters i don't know there's always okay i watch a lot of cooking shows <laughs> I watched a lot of Chopped specifically. Chopped is incredible right. because there's always one guy whose family is Italian and he runs an Italian <laughs> restaurant and like that's been his entire personality. He's never been to Italy. Um, <laughs> there's like a woman who's out to prove herself because mm -hmm. like, you know, she's cooking, a woman. yeah, cooking is a boy's yeah, game, yeah. but she's ready to play with the boys um there's, <laughs> there's always one chef who's like mom slash daughter is or slash sister is dying of cancer right okay um well and there's always a woman she's like oh i'm a mom i'm a mom i have three <laughs> kids and i like there are personas is all i'm gonna okay. say <laughs> maybe i'm watching the wrong maybe i'm watching the wrong cooking shows because master chef australia um, uh, no Br you're Br watching British the classy ones and i'm watching oh, right right ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh there you go there you though, go though i did like the the line breaking <clears throat> eggs breaking hearts that, that was, was great that, that, yeah. was, that was quite a nice little that was really smooth all oh, talking about smooth I mean, Bonnie had to say smooth about a hundred times in the beginning to really drive home the fact that this chef was just so hot. She was like, how smooth is he? He's the smoothest. And after a while, it just sounds like she's describing his body being like, you know, a cyclist, <laughs> just ethically smooth. Arrow. <laughs> yeah. And again, we, we do then find out at the end that her fiance shaves his chest. So he can't oh. be that good of a person. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you may not have looked at this, Chad, but it's the sort of thing that I would look at. <laughs> oh, no, well, no, no, I, I, I meant like in terms of uh, I didn't realize that was a line that was said. No, no, or, no, were no, you just no, looking you at just his noticed. incredibly you hot were just body? Like... I, I, was just, I was just looking at his body and I was thinking and, and I thought, you know, no, he shaves. That's a hairless chest right there. Oh, that is it. To be fair, when you've got abs and pecs like that, you shave. Mm. 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 Yeah, the, the, now we're getting into preference here, Chad, I'm afraid. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll leave that one there. Um, <laughs> uh, so in terms of some of the things that I, I looked at, uh, I, yes. I have to say that in, in these sorts of films, it's always funny to watch the extras, mm. Mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. when it comes to people in a restaurant, because just like, uh, I, I mean, I remember there was that guy in that film that is, is doing sweeping, but is not actually um, yes. sweeping the floor. He's just sweeping the air. Uh, yes. and, and in this film, there were there were the people with the puddings in front of them and just sort of tapping with their spoon to the side <laughs> of the puddings. Uh, and and, um, and, and there, there's also this thing about films where people get given drinks and then they don't drink them and they just yeah. leave yeah. with their drinks undrunk. I mean, who does that? I've yeah. done that once Outrageous. in a restaurant and it's because I was pretty sure they were trying to poison me. <laughs> Oh, oh you go. You well, this sounds like a story. No, it's not. It was just really bad wine. It was really <laughs> Oh, bad. right. You okay. know, I can drink a shitty wine, but it, yes. it smelled like turpentine. Um, right. it, oh, it tasted it much like the same. So I left it. Um, and my best thing, I was in East London. I don't know if that means uh, East London in, in South no, Africa. Yeah. It's just it's as Dutch as not, not, oh, right, London. Not, not, okay. fu not pe fucking Peckham. Honestly, it's just as Dutch. Um, I was in East London, so I walked away with this full glass of wine at my table, and literally someone stopped me and they were like, are you not going to drink that? And I was like, no. And then they took it off my table to drink it themselves. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's great. I loved I it. I mean, 
Re reuse recycle yeah but i also <laughs> i loved the date scene that they did like it was like after dinner service it was just the two mm -hmm. of them in the restaurant and she's like no i'll cook for us and she cooks and then it cuts to wow that was a great meal no <laughs> and then he's like let's crazy. get chocolate cake and she's like yeah and then it cuts to wow that was great chocolate cake <laughs> Dro like the whole movie it wasn't just in the date scene it was every time they had food it was yeah. like prep 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 over done we don't get yeah. to see the finished we didn't plate. get to see the crazy. fucking eggs florentine that got mentioned several oh. times oh my god it's like yeah i oh these are the best eggs florentine i've ever had can i have the recipe it's one of the easiest egg <laughs> things to do you poach eggs you put a hollandaise sauce <laughs> yeah and and some spinach and, yeah. and a muffin and that's it that that's eggs florentine wow <laughs> Know, you know put a little bit of mustard in maybe but what do you need msg yeah. probably <laughs> probably i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised yeah a little bit a little tiny bit of crack that like a be, nice cultured really butter strange. instead of a normal butter i don't know ah uh, yeah 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 something like that psilocybin or something yeah <laughs> maybe so so another reason why you know I'm, I'm i'm sort of proposing that this was written by an ai there's two reasons and i want you guys your guys's help on the one not the other so the first reason is they get to the bar and um it's it's okay so it's after our evil villain of a protagonist is like hey start uh, best friend stop having a wonderful christmas with your super hot town uh, town city planner boyfriend yes! and come for a drink with me i'm evil hangs up the phone <laughs> they get to the bar and then, and then she goes Cla Cla uh, bonnie goes one drink please <laughs> doesn't specify just one drink please just whatever you've got <laughs> run it flowing around at the moment <laughs> let's, let's, let's 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 pipe it up but then i shall so, have one drug please as well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean look I, notoriously my maths is very bad but there's that scene where um the the chef goes to the uh small b, &B place and he's like yo i think my parents stayed here and then the female owner of the shop's like oh i must have been a little girl then i don't recognize but she is considerably older than he is so it mm. makes no sense mathematically that she would be a kid when her when his parents were there am i right or is my math no wrong? you're right you're right you're right it unless his parents were incredibly young because mm, he looks like in, he's in his 30s like early 30s mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Yeah. yeah yeah i would say that or she has just aged very poorly <laughs> Yeah, she's actually in her early 30s as well. <laughs> that's, that's the issue. Uh, it could be it would... that, that, um, that his, his parents only just got married like five years ago. But then Maybe. how would she be a little girl? Yeah, that's, that's an even better oh, yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Well, that, she's aged really poorly. Um, yeah, because essentially what, she, what, he, what by saying she was a little girl, she's the same age as he was because because obviously he was a little boy because they're his mm, parents mm, yes you know it's but, uh yeah. yeah she to be fair she did look like she was in her early 60s yeah i would say that i think that's a fair yeah, late 50s, 50s. Early 60s. yeah so yeah, so you're going yeah. back 50 years um so they i mean his parents must have been together for a long time before having him yeah like like they yeah. they were themselves that that's the only reason yeah you yeah. know yeah. yeah like which 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 would, would lead more to the tragic story because they were so old that that's uh, that's mm. how they actually died oh, it was just no. like a slow natural death yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of slow natural deaths what is everyone's golden nugget for this one wow wow <laughs> <laughs> well I, another one of the the lines that i really just want to want to say is, of course is where um it is a golden nugget for reasons that will make themselves apparent very quickly um mm -hmm. is where uh she's holding bonnie's uh, lactose intolerant bonnie's bag and it spills <laughs> out all over and, and you know there's the cheese and, and comes along over in his smooth way and says that's a nice piece of gruyere <laughs> That, that was Sexy. that was one of my favorite lines oh, as so well smooth. as hi mrs garrison or like that just sort of went oh hello south park okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah this movie's lines were perfect it was yeah. it was wonderful to listen to but i think also yeah. there's this there's this high-end restaurant high-end uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they've they've hired the top chef off yeah. this this thing, and and yeah, they they're so successful that they're able to close over Christmas and New uh-huh. Year. Yeah, um, <laughs> and they have an automatic coffee machine. Oh yeah, where yeah. you push the button for a cappuccino yeah. and yeah. it comes out. Yep. And yeah, thought, that's oh, uh... fine dining, except. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. coffee and you just think oh, are there no baristas available come on you, yeah, you managed hardly. to get a top celebrity chef into your restaurant and you couldn't get one dude who can pour some foam over some coffee <laughs> exactly. not to belittle what baristas yeah. do but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no you're absolutely right yeah and uh, it's yeah. baffling the thunder valley must be the most baffling place in america <laughs> mm, even though it's in canada but Oh, Indian film. It's it's actually. Oh. It's, yeah. I think it was filmed in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a lot right. of things. I mean, it makes sense. To be she, she says are. "oot" a lot, so I assume. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Simone? That, What's your so goal? That's so culturally nugget? insensitive, oh. Simone. I mean, that that's just you're you're going on lazy Canadian stereotypes. I, I, just because she says it, like she's going oh, on okay. lazy Canadian stereotypes. Uh, sorry, but have you met someone from Wisconsin? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Well, I'm I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm gonna alert you know all I'm of my horrified. Wisconsin friends I've, 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 and I've all upset. of my Canadian friends to this episode, and I'm gonna point out the lazy, okay. lazy Bill, uh, cultural. You know, in, I've upset the gays in this now... episode, and I've upset yeah. the Midwesterners. <laughs> so, will now be sending ten thousand. So, will now be sending ten thousand loonies and uh, tooties. <laughs> To the uh, to the Canadians, uh, and then just like a whole bunch of cheese for the West um yep. as as an apology, as reparations. I, I'm, I'm not going to say that those are, are lazy stereotypes, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll add it all to my invoice. Thank you, David. We, we're so glad Thank that you're you keeping for track being of this. The mm. executor of these reparations. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Sway? What's your golden nugget? Oh, you know what? I really liked all the the food porn of it. Like, I mm-hmm. I like I like looking at food, um, mm. and the bits where he was like putting together dishes and they showed them up close was really cool. I mean, the meal Clara cooked was ridiculous. Like, she just did like some <laughs> bone in chicken breasts and like five chopped veggies. Oh, I don't mean great. five vegetables that she chopped. I mean it was five pieces of chopped veg. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. When they showed that pan up close, I was like, that is not enough for two people. <laughs> but cool, Clara. Um, uh, but yeah, like I, I like I like uh, looking at food. I just wish that we'd been able to see more of what they were eating at a given time. Yes. <laughs> and, yes. and actually have them eating. I, I would have actually watched seen an hour them and a half eating. of mm-hmm. people eating really nice food. Yes. Than that film. Yes, absolutely. It's a film absolutely. about chefs. I don't understand. Why are we not seeing people eating? Mm, mm. Yeah. You you honestly feel satisfied when they like bite into it and they're like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've yeah, ever tasted. That's exactly. what I like, want. Yeah. 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 Give us more of that. Absolutely. Then get A. Fox made a whole huge gingerbread <laughs> mansion and we did not get to see her take a single bite. <laughs> yeah it's outrageous it is outrageous um yeah for me i just i really love just the ridiculous of it the fact that like the town city planner has the most ridiculous body the <laughs> fact that you know they try to like pave paradise to put, put up a parking lot the <laughs> fact that you know um you, you've got this wonderful um uh, cooking show at the beginning which like highlights a bad boy who's actually this really sensitive soul He's so beautiful. and it's mm. yeah it's just all just what you need from a ridiculous christmas movie none mm. of it makes sense it's not the real world and that's what christmas is all about it's that wonderful mm. time of year that no one knows what day it is what they're gonna wear if they're gonna fit into their trousers <laughs> and they just go through the motions until the third of january yeah, yeah. Yeah. Aren't we all going that's... through the motions until the third of January? Really, <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> and it's it is one of those weird things about Christmas. It's kind of you go, okay, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, twenty third of December, Christmas Eve, Christmas mm-hmm. Day, Boxing Day. Is this a bank holiday? Is this a bank holiday? <laughs> probably around the 29th now we're close to new year okay it's not quite new year yet okay now now it's new year's eve now mm-hmm. it's new year's day is this a bank holiday <laughs> oh we're back to monday okay cool right yeah, yeah. that's yeah. my favorite yeah. time of year i just love it like nothing's happening everything's happening mm-hmm. yeah absolutely yeah it's a true wild wild west and i love it it's just wonderful yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Well, two, Merry two, Christmas two, to one and all. Uh, David, how are you spending this Christmas? Uh, I currently, and, and I think probably both of time of recording and time of broadcast, I still have absolutely no clue. Oh, okay. Be doing, but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be me and my other half, and probably my mum for Christmas. Oh, lovely! Ideal. This, yeah, that's lovely. Nice, so, quiet yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I I like everything quiet. I I don't tend to. You know, I'm of a certain age, and <laughs> so going out for. <laughs> Like he's 60 do. years old. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big birthday. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I don't really go for like being out and clubbing and, you mm -hmm. know, ordering cocktails with a meal and just going for it for the entire... <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's not my life anymore. Fair so enough. Nice, Fair enough. quiet, at home kind of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Nice. With Lovely. no green screen like in the, the last film that we looked at. So... Uh, Ah, uh, what? All at a green screen. Yeah, there was, yes, there and was. it was not. There it was, was not done well. Which yeah. is ironic for a film called, you know, Christmas, Christmas with a view. view. Yeah. I did not see a single yeah. view as well. That was also very upsetting that there mm. were no views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, how about you, Simone? What's Christmas looking like for you this year? Uh, it's probably going to be just me and Rudy, potentially, depending on you know how restrictions shake out in the next 24 mm -hmm. hours, uh, whether we'll have some <laughs> friends joining us, but they're basically family anyway. Uh, typically, because we've spent Christmas, just the two of us, the last two years, we eat something disgusting. We have discussed a lasagna calzone. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Yes. Carby, very yes. carby. Very carby. Yes. I mean, it's not um, mac and cheese level carby, but it's still- It's still pretty carby. It's, it's bordering, it's, it's bordering. and pasta kind of, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because initially I was like, oh, we'll just put like some bechamel and some like meat sauce in a calzone. And he was like, mm -hmm. no, no, pasta needs to be in there as well. <laughs> so it's an ongoing negotiation. Um, last year we did wow. a raclette. Yeah for Christmas, just the two of us. So there was a lot of cheese and potatoes for two people. Um, mm -hmm. And then we watch a violent because movie. If, if you're, if you're, if you're in a nice warm country mm. for Christmas, a lot of pasta isn't really what you want. <laughs> so you forget, okay. We've been colonized very heavily. Obviously, I am here uh, with my very pale skin, <laughs> contributing single-handedly. I'm British. You don't need to tell me how much we colonized and <laughs> civilized the world. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> and part of that means that still a lot of our traditional Christmas foods are winter foods. So all that mm. happens, David, is we still eat these ridiculously rich foods that are meant to fatten you up to survive the cold winters. And then we go wallow in a pool like hippos with our stomachs <laughs> protruding from the water. It's a beautiful Christmas yeah. tradition. The meat sweats is taken oh. to a whole new level in South oh, Africa. It's smell. wonderful. <laughs> and then, you know, instead of like an eggnog, we'll have like a brandy and Coke or uh, yeah. a, a sangria if we're feeling really festive. Yeah. It, yeah. It's interesting that the, the first time that I actually had a warm Christmas, and in fact, it's the first and only time uh, mm. I was in India, as, uh -huh. as mm -hmm. I probably talked about at length before, and I apologize. Um, no. But it, it was, we, we had, we actually did roasted our own chicken for Christmas dinner. Got to. Um, Wonderful. I was in, I was in t shirt and shorts. Everyone, the, all the locals were in like hats and scarves and big, big yeah. puffer jackets and everything like that. Uh -huh. Uh, which was just hilarious because it was like 25 degrees on Christmas Ooh. Day and it's like, no. <laughs> um, and uh, that's about Celsius or not Fahrenheit. No, yeah, yeah. Christmas. Um, and that was the first and only time I have ever plucked a chicken. Oh, no. Oh. That does because not we, sound we fun. Got, that chicken was, no. in fact, those two chickens were delivered with feathers on. And if ever you've heard the, the, the ancient Greek tale about the Hydra wave, you cut off one head, two sprout in its place. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That mm -hmm. is what plucking a chicken is like. Just a lot right. of feathers. Okay. One feather and, and, there's, and, and it's just more taking place. That sounds place. quite and traumatic. I've got to be honest. Yeah. Like, I'm speaking from a position of hideous. a lot of privilege, but I, that doesn't sound yeah. fun. No, I would not want to do that. No. Yeah. No, you no, didn't, have, sounds, to, sounds you didn't have to kill the chicken yourself, though. You didn't have to like... Or anything. Thankfully not. No, okay. No. Um, but right. uh, it, uh, it was yeah. just, it was an experience, and I think it's an experience that everyone 
who who eats meat should actually yeah, have absolutely agree. completely agree with you to, yeah to then realize yeah. how much goes into um the preparation of meat and and actually sort of honoring mm. the spirit mm. of of what it is that you are eating absolutely i, I mean that's why i'm a vegetarian because yeah. i don't want to do any of that <laughs> uh, there she is yeah exactly no i completely <laughs> but I think agree. other yeah. people should <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if you want to eat meat you need to stand by it you need to see how the sausage is made so to speak yeah, yeah. Well, that's why yeah, i think absolutely. everybody who eats meat should hunt or something at some point in their life absolutely. like I, I genuinely yeah. think if you can and kill it with your bare hands you shouldn't eat it i'm mm. my my philosophy too simone and i i completely agree <laughs> and also when you say hunt it needs to be with a bow and arrow or oh. a knife because i think mm. guns mm. Uh, like guns is too easy, easy. You want to get, you want to look in their docile, sweet little eyes. Exactly, Mm -hmm. exactly. Even guns is too much of a separation from what you're eating Mm -hmm. because it's just way too easy. That being said, (laughs) for my birthday, I went to a sanctuary farm, which is where they rescue farm (laughs) animals. And then like you get to feed them. It's really cute. And I met, yeah, it was really nice. And then I met a pig, um, like, you know, (sighs) Mm-hmm. They usually kill pigs very early in their lives, so they're quite small. And this pig obviously had not been killed early in its life. Mm-hmm. It was so big and so scary. Oh, it's outrageous. I was like, <laughs> if I had to defend myself, I would 100% murder this pig. <laughs> it is so scary. Because I was also, yeah. remember, I was dropping vegetables and scraps into its maw. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was very cute. It was very docile. Again, it was just standing there with its mouth open and letting me drop shit into its mouth. It was very happy. But also, I saw those teeth and mouth? I was like, okay. Well, it is a pig. Yeah. 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 And I was like, okay, yeah. I guess I would kill a pig in self defense. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it's full of, But you would still lose. You would still yeah, lose. You would try. You would lose, lose a fight <laughs> to a pig. Have you, ever, have you, have you seen Deadwood? The, uh, I haven't. The I've heard it's really good. Oh, no. it's so good. But in there, there's this, there's this ongoing theme of Mr. Wu's pigs where if you need to dispose of a body, uh, that is where you... Uh, yeah, because they'll that's, eat anything. That's the one in, in Snatch as well. Doesn't he cut up the dead bodies and feed them to the pigs? I'm sorry, Probably. I don't think anything that calls itself Snatch. It's a, it's I, I also had a giggle Richie. at that. <laughs> I had a giggle I know at that. that. We're children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also, I just want to speak about the narrative of the person listening to this podcast who's fallen asleep <laughs> and is now really, really confused again when they wake up and David David's explaining about plucking ch- chickens and this is turned into a <laughs> sort of moralistic um, vegetarian Chad, podcast. <laughs> what are you doing for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> um, for Christmas, I, I, it really depends because it's it's sort of still very up in the air um, because I'm supposed to be spending it with uh, Georgette's family, but Georgette might be working on Christmas, oh, so it no. might just be like, and and so might her mum because you know her mum uh, works as a, a church deacon essentially, right? And I mean, Christmas Famously is a pretty a big time. day in the church. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> what happened on so, that like, day? <laughs> Yeah. It might just be like it might just be me chilling at uh, Georgette's mom's house by myself, or at church, Chad. Walking. You heathen. I mean, like, should I go to church? Is that like really the moral stance we want to take? Chad, 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 Chad. Just get a bus to Bristol, then get the train up to uh, like York or Harrogate. I'll pick you uh-huh. up there. Ah, honestly, yay. How, I wait. Would hold pay on. Hold money. on. Hold on. Well, that's that's my question. That is my question. How much is this going to cost me, David? <laughs> <laughs> As it's you, Chad. Uh, I... <laughs> Watch David weigh your plate before you start yes. eating. <laughs> <sighs> I know. He's really putting thought into this. Yeah. <laughs> Bring a bottle of wine, and we'll call it. Quiz. Okay. Okay. okay yes okay, okay there we go there we go we're sorted perfect yep nice beautiful not, not yeah. the rest of everyone. everything but, but for the oh yeah, yeah. oh okay all right there was a there was bring two bottles of wine and then we might have to yeah then then i might sort of think about it this sounds like okay, it's gonna nice. be a and messy course, just chad <laughs> yeah, getting yeah. hammered with david's um, mom yeah. <laughs> getting on the lash with david alt what a dream come <laughs> true that's what everyone <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone dreams of. Dreams and, and, it, and it will um, need to. This, this this is the sort of thing that will need to go online. You know, Chad and David. <laughs> David finally gets to meet Chad Echowitz. And, I'm uh, so excited for you to potentially be moving down to Gloucester because that's yeah. just like l- really close to my neck of the woods, I and I'm so excited yeah. to meet you. I'm yeah. I'm so 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 very excited for this. 
Yeah. And you and I are going to become best friends and then we'll take over the podcast and Simone will just, you know, fade, fade into the distance. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, wow. Simone, but, but, but you're on our red travel list, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, <laughs> which is very cool. About that. I'm not going to get into it now because I am <laughs> angry. Um... <laughs> oh, goodness me. Well, okay, final question, because otherwise our <laughs> listeners, the, the listener who's fallen asleep and woken up three times is going to be like, how is this podcast still going yeah. on? Final question <laughs> for the podcast is mm. what is everyone's go-to Christmas movie, bad or good? Let's let's start. Simone, Simone, go first. Tell us what your bad and goods. It's, it's always love, actually. It's always love, actually. It I know is. it's problematic. It I don't is, yes. care. I don't care. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. I acknowledge it and I move on because I really like it. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're so very right. You're so, so very right. How about you, David? I think it has to be Home Alone. Oh, right. classic. Okay, classic. classic. Yeah, I, I know it was from before you two were born, probably. <laughs> you know, I, I, I remember those phones, which, which had wires. Okay, wires. we had phones yeah. with wires. <laughs> oh, come on. You were born in, what, 2005? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> is that it's our youthful glow that's what it yeah, is yeah that, that, that's what i'm calling it um <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, i i i think home alone came out when when i was what eight something like that and uh, it's it's been that to me is is the staple christmas film because it has um it has the heartwarming moments it has the fun Mm -hmm. uh, and and the the nice um mm. tying up at the end yeah that, that is my that's my christmas film other than Love Die lovely but yeah that's not yeah. a christmas film because it... it came out in july Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh, that's that's very that's controversial. controversial you're breaking yeah. it down chad i have a feeling i know what yours is but i'm i'm dying to hear what you think it is it's the dolly parton film isn't it there's a Dolly Parton Christmas There's film? Dolly Parton there Christmas is, Christmas. yes, there is. Yeah. I saw like the first five minutes of this and I was like, good Lord, this is terrible. And I switched it off. And I mean, coming from, you know, people coming who from do this for a living. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. how bad it is. Yeah. What, 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 it was very heartwarming. It was everything that you would want from a Christmas film without, so. um, without ludicrous green screen and um, a manufactured... Uh, grumpy Scottish lord in the middle. <laughs> Fair enough. I might give Fair it another enough. go. On that review, I might give mm -hmm. it another go. Mm -hmm. so, so, Simone, what is the movie that you think that, that that's I thought it was going to be Nightmare Before Christmas, because I know that was it your is. audition song for a while. <gasps> it yes! is. You know me so well. You see? This is why Amazing. we do this. This is why we're so good. Yes, you're absolutely right. If it's not love, actually, it's, it's Nightmare Before Christmas, which, yeah. is, again, is controversial. Is it Halloween? Mm. Is it a yeah. Christmas movie? And it yeah. was your audition song for a while. Hey, what's this? Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah, what's this? Yeah. <gasps> now, see, I can't my audition you remember that. Is, this is interesting. My audition song is from Avenue Q, which I know is like... Ages. Oh, wow. Is it If You Were Gay? It's... Sorry, that's the only is song it, I know from Everyone is a little Avenue bit racist. <laughs> Oh my god, these reparations. Simone, come on. Because it's the ones I know from Avenue Q, David, not because you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> He's never going to want to come calling back my now. Agent. I'm, I'm calling my agent. Uh, no, there's a, there's, it's a wonderful little 32 bar um, piece, oh. which is just perfect for auditions. It's called What Do You Do mm -hmm. With a BA in English? Oh, <laughs> that's even great. Better. It, it is it is brilliant because it's the right yeah. it's the right length it's the right um it's got the range it's got Ugh. it's got everything so um you don't need to you know be stopped and halfway through because it's like mm -hmm. okay that's enough um so yeah it's it's a, a it's a very neat nicely packaged nice. audition song i like that yeah and it's 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 not one of the edgier songs you know that exactly. can you know be seen as problematic so mm. yeah nice yeah lovely well guys this has been a wonderful christmas <laughs> opening i really appreciate it and uh yeah let's uh what, what christmas opening children no just because no. i've made so many enemies on this oh christmas opening. yes <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true our podcast no longer exists it's cancelled after this episode <laughs> So no, what are, no, if we, this is the, 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 Chad, you're just not seeing this as part of the greater narrative. This is where- You have uh -huh. to kick you know, me we, off we've... now. Yeah, ah, and then- Genius. We, there's, there's this, you know, you show up in South Africa, mm. it's yeah. snowing for some reason, even though it's the middle of the summer, 
and and, and you're there right. on Simone's okay. doorstep and you're saying, you know, forget Rudy, we want you and forget David, we want you back on the podcast. Right. Um, okay. There flowers, uh, as I say, it's snowing. Uh, but it probably isn't snowing. It's probably just ash from some hideous, hideous fire or something. Yeah, like, you're not know. wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you um, wouldn't be far and, off. And, but but that is that's the the Christmas narrative. I'll only See, say I yes if you... it's you and David on my front step. And David also also throws in a line about how the gays have forgiven me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought you were going a different way with that, David. I thought it was, and I mean, the phrasing that went into my mind immediately was problematic. But I thought you were going to say, by getting rid of Simone this way, there would be a gap that a gap in 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 my my life that you would have to fill. And I was like, that wording isn't great either. Um, but oh, you know, I'd overall, be cool with that. I'd, I'd be cool. With that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about Scottish Scottish traditions? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Behind yeah. the bins. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm right no. here, please. We do have a Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Well, Simone, Jesus, what are we doing next week? Please, let's let's try and get this back on the rails. What do we what do we feel like? David, any suggestions for Christmas movies no, that got, we could do? I know what we're doing. Oh, next you've got week. Yeah, yeah. All right, what are we doing next week? What this are we actually doing? came highly recommended last year. And we were like, oh no, but it was rated too highly for us to do it on the podcast. And I think we've a little okay. bit thrown that to the wayside. Yeah, right out the window. So yeah. we will be doing Ginger Dead Man one and two. <gasps> it's our Christmas Ginger horror Dead episode. Man. Yeah. That sounds fucking And amazing. you'll notice, David, that we did not bring you on for the horror episode, because we don't want you to be typecast. That is very thoughtful and very kind, Simone. Thank you Thank very you. much. I, appreciate I, I feel like there was a lot of forgiveness in that, and that was uh, the true Christmas miracle that we all wanted. So I no, 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 no. My invoice will be the true Christmas miracle. <laughs> I will be very, very happy with Us being able to pay your invoice will be the true Christmas miracle. That's the miracle. miracle. That'll yeah. be the miracle, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well david thank you so much for coming on again and we Absolutely. definitely will have you on more and more because we just love seeing your beautiful face and hearing your dulcet tones and your penny whistle apparently yes well i it, the, the penny whistle is probably just a one-off just like david Attenborough was i'll, I'll have to think up something okay. new on the spur of the moment for next time yeah keep the keep the po podcast loose and wet that's what we like <laughs> <laughs> just how we all like it um <laughs> But it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, just to say that Christmas is a time for ghost stories and horror because that's what Christmas Eve was all about. Yes, you know, yes, it was. Around with Mr. James in the in the senior common room, uh, combination room, sorry, of of Cambridge colleges and uh, and telling spooky stories because that's what. So just to say, a no sleep voice actor is not just for the spooky times of year like <laughs> Halloween and Christmas. It's for all year round. Okay, David, you all year round. just yeah, we, take over the podcast. We, we get it. Okay, just take it. <laughs> we, just... <laughs> we get it. You want to do this? We get it. <laughs> you found. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford you, David. <laughs> uh, we'll give you. We can give you loves and hugs, though. We're very good at that. Virtually, one of us. Yeah, yeah, one of us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Well, guys, thank you so much for listening. We do really appreciate it. We hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas. Tell us about your favorite Christmas dishes. Uh, talk to us about turkey and how dry it is, because everyone knows that turkey is always dry, and how you... Uh, well, yeah, not if you do it right. So tell us your methods of doing it right, and where can we do that soon? Uh, you can talk about your brining techniques on Facebook or Instagram at Fresh Tomatoes Podcast. You can tell us if you're deep frying a turkey like a madman on Fresh Tomatoes MP. <laughs> and you can email us more detailed recipes at Fresh Tomatoes Podcast at gmail.com. There you have it. And David, did you want to give yourself a plug? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is dirty now. I can't. Uh, it's all a mess. Uh, I, I, I would be happy if you gave me a Again, I'm right here. I don't need to listen in on this part. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you can find me at davidalt.co.uk or on Twitter at David. There you go. And as we say at the end of every week, we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. We love you and there's nothing you can do about it.
goodness me. Oh my god. I mean, I, I don't even. I just know how to said to stop me. flirting, David. <laughs> yeah, but now he's just impregnated all of our listeners <laughs> just simultaneously. <laughs> All right, goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> this, is, this is why I need the invoices to pay for all of the... Uh, the, the babies. Yeah, all the babies, yeah. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Thank you very much for having me.